Good evening, everyone. My name is Tina Hewerman, and I am the founder of the Detox Divas. And tonight, I am completely in my mojo with uh, this call tonight. Not only do I get to talk about the world's best product line and essential oils, I also get to do some mindset coaching, which is something that just really just makes me so incredibly happy because if I can, um, if I can help people step outside of their comfort zone and grow, it is just such a blessing to me because I have had my share of struggles over the years. And for those of you that have been around my campfire here with the De Detox Divas for a while, you know that I've been on a sobriety journey. I've been on a personal development journey. And some of you have been here long enough to see me reach um, really huge heights in a very short amount of time with the company speaking on stages, becoming a best-selling author. And it's all because I work on my mindset and I don't let negative energies um, enter my orb. I don't get caught up in all of that stuff. I stay laser focused on what I'm doing and it has just blessed me abundantly. And I'm so incredibly grateful. Um, these two people right here are part of the reason that I'm so blessed to be here. Paula Scarcella and her husband, Ben. I found this description on the website. It's a new description for this slide, so I have to read it. Um, at Godasana, we believe that overall wellness is the foundation of true happiness, and that is such a key component for tonight. And our mission is to empower individuals worldwide to improve their quality of life and achieve optimal health through pure plant-based products. It's a step into your full potential, and we challenge you to enhance your life and positively impact those around you starting today. And with over 20 years of experience, Paula is recognized as a disconnect. She recognized a disconnect between company owners in network marketing and the distributors. And after personally experiencing a lack of integrity and transparency from company leaders, she decided to create a company rooted in honesty, integrity, and transparency, which is exactly what we get here at all times. And drawing from her own journey as a distributor in network marketing, Paula understood the average person's need for support, tools, and guidance to achieve the same success that she had. And the philosophy led her to establish Green Organics, a company dedicated to helping individuals achieve their goals and turn their dreams into reality. And that is exactly what is happening here at this company. And I'm so blessed to be a part of it. Um, she is good friends with Alexandra Brighton, who is a legend in her own right. Alexandra has got over 30 years of experience in the Ayurvedic um, field of plant medicine, aromatherapy, essential oils. She's an author, an educator, a formulator. Um, her influence, her work has influenced many in the wellness community, and she continues to be the trusted source of information and inspiration for those interested in natural health and healing. And so we just have that wonderful trifecta at the top of the company and so blessed. And so we're going to, you know, we're going to be talking about some mental health challenges here. Mental health is another passion of mine. Um, I uh, have had my own mental health challenges and then dealt with my husband. Um, after we lost our son, he spent a week in a mental hospital. Hospital. And so mental health is also something I'm extremely passionate about. So I'm going to say this here, the anything I say tonight is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent, you need to consult with a qualified healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet supplement use prescription drug use. This is required by law for me to say this and to protect the company. So take a screenshot, read that at your leisure because I'm too excited. I need to get into this training because I don't want to run into Coach Marcus's training after this. So let's talk about this. Let's dive deep. We are going to talk about limiting beliefs tonight. And did you know that there are limiting beliefs surrounding money that keep you stuck and not earning at your full potential? And whatever that is, whether you are um, in the field sharing these products with us, whether you have a corporate job that you just keep getting passed up for promotions, whether you are in and out and you can't stay stable in a, in, in a job, there are limiting beliefs that are holding you back and preventing you from that success that you deserve 
Number one, I want you all to type that in the chat right now. I deserve it. I deserve success because without that mentality, you're not going to get it. And you have to feel that. And it may feel uncomfortable when you first start saying that to yourself. But the more you say that to yourself, the more it's going to become a reality because you're reprogramming your mind. So money is the root of all evil. How many people have heard this in their in their life? Money is the root of all evil. It is not. This belief arises from misconception of moral teachings, teachings often fostering guilt about earning money or even pursuing money. People don't like to talk about money because they think that they're being greedy when they want more money. Well, God have promised us abundance and we are not going to put him in a box and say that he is not wanting to bless us with that. Rich people are greedy and corrupt. How many people have felt that? You know, a lot of this stems from childhood. We're going to get to that screen next. I'm not good with money. Maybe you are struggling to pay bills. Maybe you have some issues in your life where you get a whole bunch of money and you just go spend it because you've been broke for so long. Maybe, you know, that your responsibility, um, maybe you think I have to work too hard to get extra money. I'm happy where I'm at. That's a lie. You guys, you deserve it. And yeah, so maybe you do put in that time, um, in the beginning to work hard and to work on your mindset. And let me tell you, as we go through these slides tonight, you're going to see how those onion layers of, of, of misconception, limiting beliefs are just a small fragment of your life. And once you start peeling that onion back, you are going to just blossom and grow. And then there's always that scarcity mindset. You know, if, um, if, if somebody else gets something, you're like, well, why not me? Why can't I get it? That's coming from a scarcity mindset, um, revolving money. And so I'm sure that you could probably relate to one, two, maybe all of them uh, in going in going through those. So where do these beliefs come from? Well, childhood experiences, number one, if you grew up in a family where your parents made a lot of money and you never had to work for anything and um, but they were never home, you're going to have a limiting mindset belief around money based on the fact that I don't want to make money because then I won't be a good parent. It could be cultural conditioning, societal norms and narratives about wealth can instill shame or guilt for aspiring to have that financial abundance. You guys, there is nothing wrong for wanting money. There's nothing wrong to wanting. A, there's nothing wrong with wanting abundance. Maybe you've had some personal failures. Negative, negative experience such as debt or business loss reinforce the beliefs of incompetence or fear of financial risk. You guys, let me tell you about my brother. My brother is the comeback king. I don't know how many times he has um, started a business and lost it and started a business and lost it. And, and he just keeps going and going and going. He's like the comeback king. Today, he is the number one most respected interior designer in Des Moines. And he gets to do all of the art festivals. In fact, he just won back-to-back -back, um, tailgate champions for um, Iowa, for the University of Iowa. He has this magic bus that he takes around. And he throws these gargantuan tailgate parties. And for two years in a row, he has won the number one tailgate champion out of all the whatever that conference is. I'm not good into basketball, but whatever that conference is, he, he's won twice in a row. And he's been broke. He just, he doesn't let him stop him. And then there's also the religious or moral teachings. Teachings that glorify modesty or condemn material wealth can foster internal conflict about financial goals. And again, it is okay. God does not want to be put into a box and say, no, you can't have money because that's not good. But if you're coming from a pure heart, that shouldn't matter, right? If you give money away, it's not going to matter because the more you give, and even Paula said it, the more I give, the more it comes back to me, which is why the sales for Black Friday were so incredible. So um, these other limiting beliefs keep you from that abundance that you deserve. Procrastination and financial planning. I 
I'm, 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 that's, I'm going to claim that one. That's a, that's a Tina one that I'm working on to overcome and avoidance of budgeting, investing, or exploring opportunities due to fear or self-doubt, lack of knowledge, you know, insecurities, uh, missed opportunities. How many times um, have you been offered an opportunity or you are in this opportunity and you have a reluctance to take risk step out of your comfort zone and pursue ventures that could yield significant returns. I see it all the time on my team. Maybe there's chronic financial stress, constantly worrying about money that's coming from that scarcity mindset again. And money has a vibration. Money has a frequency. And if you associate a negative energy to the money, the money is not going to come to you because you're going to be pushing it away. And then there's the self-sabotaging behaviors. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve this. You know, those are all things that play into that, that are blocking you from that financial abundance. So let's get into some, some, some good stuff here. Are you ready for abundance? Nah, I like to be miserable or I am abundance right? We are abundance. And when you go with that flow and you capture that energy, you're going to be so blessed. So we've got this amazing kit that just was launched over Black Friday. And this kit is absolutely amazing. We are going to do an eight day challenge together as a community. We'll have posts up every day. We'll have motivation. We'll have accountability, and you've got to show up, you've got to comment, you've got to check in, and we'll have daily rituals that promote clearing, centering, and manifesting tools and guidance to help you stay committed, a mindset shift that opens the door to abundance. Several people have done this once um, with Coach Will. I All my stuff has been in storage because of the moves. I wasn't able to do it. So if you have done this challenge before, I, I ask you to put that in the comments and tell me just some of the things that came from that. Um, prosperity challenge that you did. We're going to have tools and guidance to help you stay committed. We're going to have yeah, oh, the mindset shift. Okay. I read that. We're going to, you are going to stay consistent, remain open and trust in the shifts that this tra transformation process can provide. So here's a couple extra things. Take some screenshots of these next few um, next few screens here because we're going to do some self-awareness and reflection. You're going to journal every day. You're going to write down your beliefs about money and trace their origins. We're going to find out if that's a childhood thing that's keeping you blocked. Every day you're going to ask questions. Where did I learn this belief? How is this belief served me or held me back? Some other things that you can put in your journal every day is how do I want to think, act, and feel? Maybe you don't feel that way in the moment, but how do you want to think, act, and feel as you go through your day to lead to that success that you want, that abundance that you want? We're going to reframe our beliefs. We're going to use proper vocabulary when we're talking about things. Instead of saying, I made a mistake, you say mistakes help me learn. It's such a release when you start learning and catching yourself saying these negative things in your life. And from we're going to stop saying money is the root of all evil. We're going to start saying money is a tool that amplify, amplifies my ability to do good. We're not going to say I'm not good with money. We're going to start saying I'm learning to manage my money wisely and confidently. Challenge that scarcity thinking by focusing on gratitude and abundance. And as soon as you start reprogramming your mind and using different, different vocabulary um, surrounding money, surrounding your worth, surrounding, you know, your, your, your worth and what you deserve, the more that's going to come to you because you're going to have this energetic vibration that's actually going to attract people to you. Have you ever gone and met with a friend from school for lunch and all they did was all they did was just complain. They talked about bad about their husband. They talked bad about their kids. By the time you were done, you wanted to go home and shower because you just felt such a negative energy. Um, you had to take a nap. It was just way too draining. Well, those are the types of people that you're going to want to stay away from and keep at a, a far dif, uh, distance. We're going to use visualization every single day. And you should be doing this 
um, all the time anyway. If you look at Miriam or Jessica's background on their uh, Zoom right now, like they're manifesting. Miriam has that beautiful pink office with this gargantuan chandelier. Jessica's got this little um, island hut out in the middle of a, a bay and ocean on top of water. You know, you have to see that stuff. So picture a life of financial abundance. Envision yourself managing wealth confidently and generously. And your affirmations, I am deserving of financial success. Opportunities for wealth are all around me. Money flows to me easily and abundantly. You may not believe some of that stuff right at first when you first start saying it, but after eight days, and I hope you continue longer, I hope you take this, this project, this, this challenge, this experience that we're going to do, and I hope you continue with what you're going to learn over these eight days. Um, you have to shift your environment, y'all. Surround yourself with people and resources that encourage growth and not tear you down. Find books, podcasts, seminars on abundance mindset. For the first, I don't know, um, I don't know, maybe I was in the industry for about a year, year and a half, and then I took several years off. But when I came back in, I knew that I didn't want to fail again because I failed the first time. And I started listening to Eric Worre's podcast every single day. I had a 30 minute drive to work and every single morning I would pull up. I listened to all hundred and some podcasts that he had driving to work, but I didn't just listen to it. I mentally and visually put my uh, visually put myself in that chair, in that room with Eric Worre. And I answered the questions as if he was asking me and not that multimillionaire sitting there. And so nothing was going to stop me from that. I stay away from drama. I stay away from people that drain my energy. I'm laser focused on what I'm doing. I do nothing but focus on my business, my team, my customers, and my family. Because I know where I'm going. And if there is a detour that's trying to attack my energy or attack my business, they are blocked. I don't have time. I don't do, I don't do negativity because it takes away from my energy of moving forward. Mute the distractions. That's right. <clears throat> Sustaining an empowering money mindset. You have to celebrate. I had a teammate hit platinum this past week and she's like, well, you don't really have to celebrate me, but I'm sure it'll be, you know, good motivation for the team. I'm like, girl, stop. You have to celebrate. Not even that she hit platinum. If you got a sale, if you got out of bed, celebrate those things, start being gra grateful for everything you get to do. Do you have a pillow? I'm so thankful and grateful for that pillow. I get to put my head on. Do you have hot water? I am so grateful and thankful I get to take a hot shower. I'm so grateful and thankful I've got uh, running water. Every single thing that you touch and experience, attach a gratitude to it. Focus on value creation. Shift the attention away from the money to the value that you bring others and be grateful for everyone that you talk to, even if they tell you no. Focus on the value. What are you giving? Grow into that gratitude, compassionate person. Practice generosity. Marcus, I don't know if you remember this, but when I first started, we were talking about generosity on one of your amazing trainings. I think it was yours. And um, on Wednesdays, I'm a part of Rank Makers. I'm a lifetime member of uh, a training program. And on Wednesdays, they call it Wealth Wednesdays. And I haven't done this in a while, so this was a big reality check for me. But on Wednesdays, I would go to Aldi's and in the diaper box, I would put whatever money I could afford, $5, $10, $20. And I would put that in the handle of the diaper box and walk away. Now, number one, I'm not getting any gratification from that. All I know is that I have abundance and I, yes, the $20 diaper box challenge. I have some abundance in my life that I'm so incredibly grateful for. I get to give it to someone else and I get no glory from it. It's the love in the giving 
that makes it so special. Can you imagine being that mom? Number one, if she's buying diapers off brand, always do the off brand. If you're buying, if she's buying off brand diapers from Aldi's grocery store, you know, she's struggling or he, the parents, the mom, the dad, both together, maybe they're single. I don't know. That's not my call. That's just what I like to do. You can put it under, you can put it in some sort of senior care. Maybe there's some denture cleaner that's got the slide open. Um, maybe it is, uh, you know, you can come up with all kinds of things, over tipping the waitress, buying somebody's lunch, you know, just be creative, drop that money. And if you do not have the money to do that, or if that's your thinking, I don't have the money to do it, do it anyway, find a way to do it. Because that's going to tell you, I need to make more money so I can give more away. Right. And so if you're thinking, I don't have $5 to put in a box every Wednesday, find a way, find a way to do it. And the more you bless, the more you're going to receive and embrace growth. As you're going through this challenge and you're removing these limiting beliefs, I am so thankful that I learned that. Now I can address it. In fact, the other day when, um, I don't know, some of you have seen that um, I had published a book on the training that I did in Las Vegas, and I really had some mindset issues surrounding that because the focus was really uh, on me. And even though it appears that I like the focus on me, I like to focus on me when I can inspire others, but when the focus is on me just for me, I get really uncomfortable with that. So I need to dig deep and kind of find out why I'm having those feelings because I did no promotion. I didn't talk about it. I didn't share the link or anything. Um, and I'm so grateful for Tommy for pushing me to get that book done because he would every two days, three days, hey, do you have that done yet? Hey, do you have that done yet? Like, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. And it was my own limiting beliefs that were blocking me from that. But now that I know it's going to bring abundance to people on the team. And I'm so grateful for that. This is the hard one. I think for a lot of people, you have to love you enough to take care of you. And if you're eating low vibrational foods, things that are processed, things that have chemicals in it, things that um, are not of, for your best good, then you are lowering your own frequency and vibration, which could be another money block for you. So if you're not doing the top 10 things that millionaires do, and one of them in the morning is working out and personal development, then you are not loving yourself. And it's time you start because you deserve to have that love. You deserve to be accepted and you deserve to put yourself first in situations like that every single day, because if you're not filling your own cup and you're constantly pouring from it, you're going to have an empty vessel with nothing to give. And we're all about giving. This is all about giving. We want abundance so we can give and bless other people's lives, which is the beauty of network marketing in itself. So one of the first oils in this collection is called Clear. Clear actually is um, a part of the whole body collection. Clear is your reset button. So it is the perfect clearing physical and emotional negativity after a massage, body work, or a tough day. Ingredients like clary sage, lavender, and patchouli help bring balance while rock rose and LMI invigorate your ground and ground your energy. So we will use clear every single day during this. And this is the first step to attracting that abundance. Clearing creates the space. Maybe you need to clean up your office. Maybe your bedroom needs to be decluttered. Maybe your home needs to be decluttered. And you need to declutter in order to make room for more. Once you start releasing some of that, you create space and you clear for more to come to you. It's going to help shift your focus. It's going to keep you focused. It's going to help you identify and release subconscious blocks, allowing you opportunities and to see solutions more clearly. 
It's going to help align your energy with the frequency and energy of abundance and gratitude and negative emotions like fear, resentment, repel abundance. So if you felt some resentment lately, maybe you've had a bad day, maybe you've had a bad week or a bad month, you're repelling that abundance from you. Just bless and release, let it go. And this clearing aligns you with the positive energy needed to attract that money. It removes the resistance and builds a solid foundation. Clear is uh, it, a clear and grounded mindset ensures that your new money habits and affirmations take root and thrive. Now, can you plant seeds in a weedy garden? Yep, you sure can. How many of those are going to sprout? Probably not as many as if you tended to the, the soil, the foundation of that garden bed then you could really start to see that blossom, the blossoming flowers and that beautiful garden coming to life versus the weeds that are popping up. Our next oil is a line. A line is known as structural alignment in a bottle. A line helps you prepare for abundance by centering your energy. So we've cleared the room out a little bit. Now we're going to feng shui our body and get into alignment and be open and ready to receive what's coming to us. There's black spruce and frankincense. Frankincense is such an amazing um, oil. Those are going to help ground you. And then the rosewood and the tankatium. Hello, I can't say that word. Sorry. Uplift and soothe you. So that's going to be the second one. And here is why aligning your energy with money is so important. And by treating money as energy, and aligning your beliefs with emotions with abundance, you attract opportunities that resonate with your energy. Whatever your energy is, is what is coming to you. And so by clearing and aligning, you're going to start seeing more of that good stuff coming to you. Be thankful. Let's do that gratitude every single day. I am thankful and grateful. I am thankful and grateful every single day. Write one thing you're thankful and grateful for morning and night, especially before bed. Positive association. Speak about money as empowering ways. Money is a tool for freedom and generosity. Have an abundance mindset. Focus on what you can create, not what you lack. This opens the door to new opportunities. Every time you see someone that is doing better than you and your first thought is, oh, wow, well, blah, blah, blah. Your first thought should be, I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to be there. And then have a flow mentality. This one's really cool. Money is just a cycle, y'all. It allow it to flow in and out with trust. Spend and give with intention, knowing that it's going to come back to you. Isn't that powerful? Circulate money. Absolutely, Marcus. Then comes the prosperity. This oil is one of my favorites. I love to uh, drip it on cash in my billfold so that when I pass my money out or spend it or put it into circulation, I know that it is going to touch and bless other people as it takes its route around the world. It's going to, um, you know, maybe you pay cash when you tip the waitress. Maybe you pay cash when you tip your hair salon or wherever you go. Put some prosperity on there so that you're blessing people beyond you that you like the diaper challenge. Like you don't have any way of knowing. You just know that it's going to bless someone because that's the abundant mindset. Prosperity is not just a dream. It is a mindset. And this blend is your key to unlocking the life you deserve. And are you ready to take that first step? Every day when you use prosperity essential oil, this is uh, designed by Alexandra Brighton, who is extremely intuitive herself. Um, every day when you apply that oil in the morning, you're going to say, I believe I will be prosperous in all areas of my life and I will not listen to any negativity regarding my ability to do so. I am in command of my destiny and no one can prevent success except for myself. I remember when I first started with Heart and Body Naturals, my company had just collapsed. 
Um, uh, we were, I was out probably $20,000 in commissions that never got paid. My husband was off work because he had a mental breakdown. We were a month out from the one year of my son's, um, the anniversary of my son passing away and my company collapsed and I found heart and body naturals. And my husband said, well, if you can, you know, if you can make a thousand dollars a month, then you don't have to go out and get a nine to five job. And I'm like, watch me. But it wasn't always like that. Like he didn't believe in the business model. He didn't believe in the, he still doesn't believe in the products. He's, he's a pharmaceutical dude, but that's okay. I love him anyway. Um, but he never believed in this business opportunity. And now he does. Now he's like, Hey, what was your check today? <laughs> so, you know, it was, it's, it's been a transformation for him too. And I correct him all the time. I correct him with his vocabulary because his vocabulary can be kind of negative. Things like this always happen to me is his negative response. And I told him, I'm like, oh, just look at it like a bus passing by. You have a bad experience. I mean, some of them are heavy, you know, like the loss of a child. I know there are several on here that have had losses this past year. And so bless you, you know, and, and those are harder to deal with and harder to heal from. But if you um, experience something that makes you feel yuck, just look at it like, oh, there's a bus. Bless and release, let it go. Don't let it take that energy from you because that's a bandit. And we're not dealing with bandits around here. Then we have the finishing oil. And this is the first time I've smelled this oil that I've had it in my hand. It's just absolutely a wonderful oil. This blend seals the deal, you guys. This one puts it all together. It keeps you, um, it keeps you grounded. It keeps all of those intentions and manifestations and all of your journal entries internalized so that you can grow and step into that abundance. And think of this as the final touch to your space clearing process. So you've gone in, you've cleared out the clutter, you've rearranged the furniture, you put some of that magical prosperity all over it, and then you zip it all up, you zip your body all up and stay protected and grounded in that beautiful light of that finishing oil. Pretty powerful. So with this challenge, there is a PDF. And if you're new to this call and you're new to the Detox Divas, let me know in the chat too, because I always love to see when we get someone new on here. But um, your whoever invited you will have a PDF like this that you will be able to use for this um, eight-day challenge. And as you can see, everything is right there. We're going to start with clear. We're going to move day three and four into a line. Um, we are going to do five, six, and seven with prosperity. And then day eight, we're going to use that finishing oil. And hi, Amanda. Thank you for coming. Um, Karen, I see something. Hi, Karen. Are these oils ingested or how do you take them? Um, Kimberly, that there is a PDF on that. Most of these are going to be applied topically. Um, as we're, as you can see, apply one drop of prosperity to the temples, apply one to two drops of clear to the soles of each feet, um, along the spine or your back. So all of the directions are right there. These oils are not, um, are not being, um, taken internally. And again, we've got over here, you've got to have that water. Remember, remember Donna with all of her teaching she did on the essential oils, you have to have water in your system because if your body is energy and water, we're 97%, no, sorry, 70 some percent water. You've got to keep that flow going. You've got to keep that energy flowing through you. And if you're not drinking water, then you are stagnant. You've got to keep that moving. And when you grab that glass of water, say to it, I'm so thankful and grateful. I'm so abundant because you can imprint that energy into the water. You can even write your goals down on a piece of paper, put a full glass of water on top of them before you go to bed. And the first thing you do in the morning, you're going to grab that piece of paper. You're going to read your goals. You're going to drink that water and you're going to be filled with that abundance and that energy and frequency of your goals for the rest of the day. So these can be found on the website, but whoever invited you, if you're brand new, they've got a copy and a link to share with you. Just send them a message. Or if you see the, your person on here, take note that they did ask for that information. So you can get that to them. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to get this done. We're going to end 2024 with a bunch of prosperity coming from anyone. This will be 
far enough out that it's not going to interfere with the holidays. We will start on, and I did this because when we launched uh, fulvic acid, we started on 422.22, which is the numbers, and I'm big on numbers. And so we're going to start this on 12.12.24. So working those numbers, getting the energy and vibration from those numbers to help us along and kind of amplify the experience a little bit. So if you don't have a kit yet, run out to the website, ask whoever invited you for the link, get that prosperity bundle ordered, and it will be here in plenty of time unless you're international. We will do these again because we want to bring abundance to everyone. Um, so that is the end of the abundance presentation. I'm going to close this out with some important information. Heart and Body Naturals is our sister company and the free product this month is liver support. And you're going to get this free as a brand new customer. If you're buying the, um, supplements, the, the nutritional supplements that we do take internally, if you spend hundred CV commissionable volume in product, you're going to get this for free. This is an amazing product. My liver loves me anymore. It used to hate me. And now my liver is abundantly in love with me. Let's just say it that way. And liver support has been a big blessing to me on my alcohol recovery journey. Um, with go to sauna, it is all about gratitude, which is the highest vibration of, um, of, of emotions. So gratitude is the essential oil for the oil of the month club, which is on the right. You can get gratitude, eucalyptus globus, a line, which is another in our product base here for this, this um, challenge. You're going to get black seed oil, which is going to help detox and get some of those heavy metals out. Remember, I said you got to take care of your body and then glorious Glorious is the most amazing skin serum. If you've never used Glorious, you are missing out because when you first use that, your skin is going to go, ah, I've been waiting for you. And then on the So Fresh, So Clean with Go to Sauna, which is a newer monthly subscription, you can do one month, you can sign up for 12 months, however you want to do that. It's totally up to you, but you're going to get, this is a crazy kit. This is crazy inexpensive. You're going to get the fresh tooth powder so that you are not having that fluoride and those harsh chemicals going in your mouth, which immediately go in your bloodstream. You're going to have charcoal and cacao body soap detox. We're going to clean and detox. You're going to have the rose and vetiver deodorant. You're going to have the eucalyptus globus. Um, it's cold season, right? We want to get that expectorant going. We want to clear those lungs. And then we have still, let's be still. I probably need to put some still on after this call, after all this energy I'm putting out. Um, and then you've got your gratitude oil. So 50, 60 bucks for that entire kit, which is just crazy good. And, and even the, the oil of the month, like the glorious alone, I think is like $70. So you're getting everything else for 30, 40, $70. So the, the glorious is about half the price. Um, next week, if you have not been a guest on my detox divas before, I would love you to send me a message and, um, I would like to have you share your favorite heart and body naturals or go to sauna product, because we're going to talk stocking stuffers next week. And I would love to have you be a guest and talk on what your favorite product is. And I put those two presents right there because that's a great stocking stuffer gift right there. Each company, both go to sauna and heart and body naturals until December 21st, I think 20th or 21st, you can get one of those amazing oils for only $7.95, I think it is. Um, and you can drop ship those anywhere. What amazing stocking stuffers in the Go to Sauna um, community for our, our customers and clients and things like that. There is a um, there is a list of suggestions in there on who you might want to send one of those boxes to. So we have that. Oh, one more thing back to the um, challenge. I want you to take a look at the Seasons of Success collection and see which oil identifies with you the most, because there's something there for everyone, whatever your limiting beliefs are. Stop self-sabotage would be a great addition for people that are constantly talking negative about themselves. Letting go of fear is a great addition to this prosperity challenge to help break that down. You can use these oils in conjunction with that kit. Um, be blessed. 
Be blessed is a great one. There's the uh, success and mentoring collection. Be bold, be worthy. You know, I am worthy. There's so many amazing oils that you can use to um, to help amplify what is happening and this amazing shift that's going to happen in your life on this journey starting December 12, 12, 24. Such great numbers. Um, directly following this, if sharing these products is of interest to you and you want to unlock your abundance and financial uh, uh, options, then please take a moment and join Coach Marcus tonight at 8 p.m. Central uh, in about 20 minutes. Um, oops, I have a typo there. Sorry, guys. Um, but that's one team, one dream hangout.com passcode. Go one team. Okay, I have a typo, but I got the um, passcode in lowercase this week. So win one, lose one. But you know what? We all learn, right? And so let's keep that high vibration going. If you'd like to be a guest next week on the Detox Divas and share your favorite, um, favorite, uh, product that you would love to get in your Christmas stocking, then I would love to have you on and just share a short testimony. It would only be about, you know, four to seven minutes that I need about four people. So if you've not been a guest on the Divas and have been wanting to do that, I'd love to give you first priority, but I know that I've got some amazing people that, that will do it even if, um, even if you can't. So, uh, be sure to tune in next week because the stocking stuffers is always one of my favorite calls that we get to do with the detox divas. And I do believe not yet. I'll have to go back and look, but the end of this month will be our three year anniversary of the detox divas too. So we might have to do a, a little special call with that, but, um, I appreciate all of you for being on tonight. And I am so grateful for, um, for all of you. I cannot wait to see the abundance that comes to you. I hope that you were triggered. I hope that something I said tonight triggered you and made you think, oh, that sounded like me. Oh yeah, that was me. Oh, I did that because you know what? That's an opportunity to grow. And that's an opportunity to release that negative thing that is holding you back because you deserve so much better than that. You are all just such amazing, beautiful people. And I can't wait to see what this prosperity challenge does for you. I'd like to do a tally and see just how much um, this group of people doing this prosperity challenge is going to earn. And maybe it's not all money that comes to you. Maybe it's, you know, something physical, something that you've been manifesting for a long time. So anyway, I appreciate you guys all so much. We will see you next week with the uh, Detox Divas and Friends Stocking Stuffer Edition. Have a great evening. Love you all. Bye-bye.